Today is a beautiful, gloomy day in Shenzhen. I am by the sea, by the port, next to the part of Shenzhen that borders Hong Kong, which is over there in the distance. And today, I am going to see what happens. I've never really vlogged before and I don't really ever film things really unless it's a birthday party or a tasty dinner but I guess we'll just see what I want to film and go from there one of the mental challenges when it comes to the idea of vlogging is that I'm really not the type to want to get distracted from the present. I think living in the present is something that's tough to do, especially in the modern world when, and increasingly so, where there's even more and more stimulation. Now we got iPad kids and tablet toddlers and I think it's a big problem um, and sometimes it's better to just minimize stimulation slow down and just stop on that note one of the biggest reservations I've had about vlogging is that for one I don't want to I guess inhibit my experiences and how I experience the world but at the same time that's just an assumption I have in my head about vlogging and like most things in life you don't really know what it's like until you try it so Maybe it'll turn out that that is the case, maybe it won't be, but we'll see. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, we test, yeah. And if you're wondering what we're testing, we're testing using the back facing camera and just flipping the phone around because I think it might be higher quality. We'll see. But basically, I think overstimulation is not what I want to do, nor what I think the world needs. And I guess at the end of the day, what matters most is what I want to do and how I want to vlog, how I want to make these videos. And who knows? Maybe. Maybe it's supposed to be something purely for myself. Maybe that's in the interest of everyone that I stay most raw and honest and genuine and film what I want to do, talk about what I want to talk about and show what's interesting to me. And maybe the angle is to even treat it like a journal. Maybe it's a way for me to get out of my head and more into the world around me. And maybe it's not that vlogging will take me out of reality, but maybe it even helps me get closer to it.
Maybe the way to see it is as a stream of conscious. It's not about thinking of the perfect things to say or the perfect shots, the perfect scenes. <clears throat> Maybe it's just about putting my thoughts to words and my words to actions and capturing the things I do while still being true to why I do it. I think when thinking about <clears throat> the rules I want to set for myself, you could say, about vlogging, um, I think one of the biggest reservations I had is that I want to stay true to myself and be genuine and uh, I guess be real personally but also show what's real about the life I'm living, the places I'm going and the way people live in the places I'm going and what things are like and yeah I think keeping things real keeping things genuine staying true to doing what I want to do and for good reasons I think those are things that are going to be important in this journey and even just in filming a bit today and my video yesterday, I already feel like I'm going in the right direction. And just hitting record and talking seems to be exactly the type of thing I like to do. So I'm sure as I experiment, I'll figure out more about the style and what I like to do. And this content's probably going to be pretty shit. It's definitely no Mr. Beast video and never will be probably but I think I can curate it to myself and what I like and what I want to do and what I want to share and just feeling the fulfillment by myself for doing it will be enough and sharing it with the world and impacting others will be the cherry on top. We'll see. I've always been one to observe and reflect and I'm starting to think maybe that'll be a very core tenet of my content. I'm also realizing that it's actually it's actually a little easier than I thought it would be to walk around with a camera in my face. Um, I had a lot of reservations because of the attention and the anxieties I would have around uh, I guess bringing so much attention to myself, I'm definitely not someone that likes to be at the center of attention. Uh, oh, there's a doji over there. Let's see if I can go see him. Oh, he's running away. Um, but yeah, and I think it's already easier than I would have expected, although I guess I am intentionally starting at a very small scale. China is a place of many things, and one of those is it's a place of many, many people. I'm from the US, which has about one fourth the population of China. And look at that, a perfect example. That is the typical high rise building that you will see in China. Sometimes going as high as over 40 floors, which is crazy, but it actually, once you're up there, it doesn't feel, you, you never actually really feel like you're off the ground until you look outside. But anyways, um, 
I think. Yeah, I'm starting small. Um, this is a very quiet place and a place of very personal meeting to me. I am at the walkway along the bay that lines Shenzhen and Hong Kong. And so you can see Hong Kong is over there in the distance. You can kind of see it. It's a foggy day. Over there you can see the bridge that goes from Shenzhen over to Hong Kong. But yeah, I think even just filming in front of a few passing people has already felt a little easier than I expected. It is awkward and I'm sure I'm going to have to work my way up because I could easily walk in places where there's hundreds of people around me at all times. But it's just about taking a step and making things work for us, isn't it? I think so. time it'll get easier to be more myself and be more goofy and silly and whatever I want to be I guess I guess at the end of the day that's what this is about but I am very reflective in general and I like to think so we'll see what happens Of all places to think, this is really one of the best around. For those who don't know, I came to China in October of 2022, and I was here for about nine months, and then I left in August, um, the start of August. And I used to live pretty close to here. My house was maybe a seven eight minute bike ride from this area this big nice walkway here by the sea and it's one of my place favorite places to come and and to think and I have a lot of great memories a lot of great reflections when I was here then and what better place to think and reflect and create this than here. Have I made sense? Hopefully. Is there a message to this video? Probably. I think it's kind of like uh, reading a book or writing a book. You don't really, you can't really say with confidence what the theme is or the moral of the story until you're done. And although maybe some authors have one in mind before they start writing, but I guess I could think of this as writing one page at a time or a chapter. And as I go, I'll have a better idea of where I want to go. And I think that feels like a pretty good spot to leave off. Alright, thanks for listening. Take care.